Hi guys, I'm Pete Greenhoff, content creator for Savannah Land Travel. I don't usually do these talking head videos for obvious reasons, but today I have a very important message to deliver. As you can imagine, I'm required to travel frequently for research and recording footage of various destinations. However, about two weeks ago, I reluctantly embarked on an unwelcome journey. A journey of recovery from lung cancer. I've commenced an extensive course of chemo and radiotherapy. As you can imagine, this has restricted my movements concerning international travel. Nevertheless, I remain committed to researching and sourcing footage to deliver content to relevant and up-to-date information for this channel. Secondly, I would like to thank everybody for their support so far and hope for your continued support in the coming months. I will be giving updates from time to time. So until then, happy and safe travels. Once a busy trading port that played an integral role in the spice trades of the 16th and 17th century, and now is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Located just 30 kilometers south of Da Nang on Vietnam's central coast, Boi An is best known for its well-preserved colonial buildings. In this video, we will discover Hoi An's hidden charms, radiantly lantern-lit streets, and uncover what makes Hoi An the jewel of Vietnam. But before we move on, I would like to thank all of you for your support for this channel so far. But if you are watching for the first time, please take a second to subscribe. This helps grow our community and build this channel. One of the first places to visit in Hoi An is the Old Town, or Ancient Town. Here you'll find beautiful tree-lined streets, flanked with colourful buildings decorated with plants and flowers, and brightly coloured lanterns that are best viewed in the evening. There are organised walking tours of the Old Town. They are available for around $15 to $20 Australian. However, if you prefer to go it alone, so you can truly take the time to save at the sites, you can purchase a map and a ticket for around $10 Australian dollars for access to all places of interest. One of the most iconic attractions in Hoi An is the Japanese Bridge. Built by the Japanese population in the late 16th century as a means of transiting from the Japanese quarter to the Chinese quarter. The name Hoi An translates to peaceful city and is appropriate when you consider that merchants and their families from every corner of Asia coexisted here in the 16th and 17th century to trade in silk and spices in relative harmony. As the evening rolls around, Nguyen Hoang Street in the old city comes alive with colourful lanterns, street vendors selling all manner of merchandise from clothing, shoes, crafts and souvenirs. Not to mention you can enjoy plenty of tasty food with a unique regional flavour. Hoi An's night markets are held every night from 5pm to 11pm. Mornings is the best time to visit our next destination. Raku Vegetable Village. 
just on the outskirts of the city, between Old Town and the beaches, is Traku Village, so named after the sweet smell of vegetables that add so much flavour and colour to the local cuisine. By visiting the village, you can soak up the authentic village life in Vietnam, observe the daily toil of farmers and try some extremely fresh and tasty food. After a delicious lunch at the Vegetable Village, there is another activity you should consider. Why not take a leisurely cruise on the river and waterways around Hoi An in a basket boat? Glide through the coconut forests, try traditional ways of fishing and witness the skills of these local boatmen. Now who's just showing off? You can experience this traditional mode of transport for an hour at $8 Australian. Every month on the eve of the full moon, Hoi An explodes in a blanket of colour and light. The Hoi An Lantern Festival holds significant cultural and spiritual importance. So as Buddha was born, obtained enlightenment and died on the full moon, it is considered a holy night. As night falls over Hoi An, the lights of the city are turned off and thousands of lanterns are lit, giving the streets a fairy tale appearance. Add the festival atmosphere, street entertainment, great food and the enjoyment of thousands of people and you have something very special. Nestled in the Pacific Ocean, a few kilometres off Hoi An are the Charm Islands. With a healthy share of Vietnamese culture and colonial history, there's plenty to see and do in these islands. However, I'm only interested in one element of these islands. Those who know me personally know I love the water, being on it, in it and under it. Charm Island offers some of the best snorkeling and diving in Vietnam. This video is only a glimpse of what Hoi An has to offer. Hoi An is an amazing city full of charm and tradition, a welcome retreat for the other larger cities of Vietnam. Hoi An holds tight its traditional values and is not in any hurry to embrace the 21st century. Next week we'll be taking a look at the Mekong Delta. So until then, Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this content. Please remember to leave a comment, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Happy travels!